Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And let me say how pleased I was for the first time to hear our Attorney General presenting what I call a very important bill, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, before moving further, I want to take time to just express some condolences to some family members in my constituency. And the first one is Myers Justin. He was stabbed to death last week. The other one is Merlin Prince of Rocky Lane. And another young man called Shankal Chauvin James, Mr. Speaker, as parliamentary rep for Denry South. I want to express my condolences to the families and to ask them to give them ask you to give them strength and courage as they go through this period of bereavement, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I stand there and I listen to the Attorney General, and he has made it very simple for the layman to understand this bill, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, while he was presenting the bill, I began thinking about fishers, our fishers, for example, in the South, Mr. Speaker, who may have invested in a new home, Mr. Speaker, but for some reason, they, have, they were not successful for a couple weeks or months in getting a good catch to be able to take care of the, the mortgage at the end of each month, Mr. Speaker. But now this bill, what it does, Mr. Speaker, it calls for engagement between the bank and the individual. So before when a person would have to worry as to whether the bank would come in and seize my house, the bank will call you and you will be able to go in there, engage the bank, and have a discussion about protecting the <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the bill is not about taking poor people's homes, Mr. Speaker. It is about engagement. It is about ensuring that you get that opportunity to speak to the bank. That bill sala nuka passe odia, c'est pas un bill qui kai point possession of kayou. Sou pas sa pe bank la pou yon de moi. I ka e kwa jou, kwa seed, et pi bank la, et diske se situation. So se peche a, se fama ki pi tet ni mortgage, e ki yon kwa dan situation, kote la nan wikin, la nan manye kote yo pasa van po du yo, ebe yo pasa. Fair program agricole, they will be able to sit, engage the bank, and have a discussion. Mr. Speaker, imagine you take a, a mortgage of $100,000, Mr. Speaker. You have $100,000. But you have to pay the bank $90,000, Mr. Speaker. And you have to pay the bank for the money. That's the thing that you have to pay for the money before. Mais bill ça là, ça y a créé solvency, insolvency bill là, Mr. Speaker, qui a empêché sa fête. Donc, moi, je voulais, as ministre agricole, as parlementaire pour pour dire que c'est important que le bill ça est important pour chaque monde qui a un coyo en situation comme ça. Et nous avons dit, ça c'est un bagaille qui n'a pas continué avec le bill ça là. Et Mr. Speaker, pour finir, je veux dire que je suis en support de l'insolvency.